Hey everyone, it's Maddie. Um, so I'm going to be doing a haul for you guys. Um, this is like my third time recording this video because I just talked too much. But um, a few updates I want to say really quick is, one, I'm very sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I had to go to my grandmother's house for a few days because my parents went to Vegas for a little bit for their anniversary, so I haven't been able to make a video. Also, I've been busy like shopping and getting ready for school, um, making, making lists for like school supplies like and um, like clothes, stuff, stuff like that. And um, going to my sister's quick friends' writing lessons and all that stuff. Um, just doing a lot of going, moving around. Well, not moving, but like, you know, running around. Um, so I have a lot of pre-recorded videos which I'll be putting out soon. Um, so I'll try to get back on track because I've been slacking. But anyways, um, yeah, I have some things from. I don't have much makeup. It's only a few things from makeup and more like jewelry and beauty and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I went to this market with my grandmother on Saturday with my sister, and um, she bought my sister a the Fantasy Circus perfume by Brazen Hair is what I will be using, but it's not mine. Um, what I got was was actually very I was very satisfied with was this candle. I'm not a big candle person, but I've lately been into like scents and nice smelly stuff. Um, so I got a candle. And this is, let me just tell you, this is one big candle. It's like humongous. And um, I have a few candles like this, like, around the house. But they're not as, like, wide around. The diameter isn't as, not the diameter. It's not as wide. It's kind of more skinnier, but it's, like, t as tall as this. But this is a wide, this is, like, the widest candle and biggest candle I've had. It's really heavy, too. It has a little lid, which I love that candles. Um, some of them are, like, the wax ones that are just like alone that don't have a thingy like this and you have to put them like on something or else so they'll like melt but this has a little glass case and it was really supposed to be $7.99 um, but it was actually um, $5.96 or something so we got a sale and this is supposed to be peach nectar and this smells the bomb it's like the bomb peach it's like freaking awesome it's like it smells like peach juice, which is basically peach nectar, and it's not too strong of a scent, because too strong scents give me headaches. It's a very subtle scent, but it's a really strong scent at the same time. Like, it's, it's like, not super strong, like, it's going to fill up the room when you open it, but it's pretty true. It's, like, really peach juice, and it smells really, really, really sweet. So, that's what I got from Oil Market. The next thing I got was today from Sunday. Um, we went to the Fiesta Festival thing in my grandma's community, and I got a few things with my money, and I got this bag, first of all, because I don't have a really, really nice bag. I have a few bags, but they're kind of tiny and not as big, and I needed one that was big that I could take traveling or take to school or take shopping or something like that, and it's this cute little, like, denim-looking, feeling, um, bag. It has the blue denim look to it, and it's really cute because and it's a really nice, just simple bag. And it has a peace sign with all different colors, and it says peace on this side and love on the other. And then on the side, it has a little folder pocket thing for like your phone or something. Um, like probably your phone. And it's a strong Velcro, so it won't like fall out when you're walking or if you're running. Um, and I hold my phone in it, and it's a pretty big pocket, so it'll hold any phone that you choose. Like even if it's really tiny, it's like a pace, um, prepaid phone, or even if it's like the iPhone or something. Um, and the strap is really long, so um, no matter what size you are, or how tall you are, or how short you are, it'll fit you. And um, it has a little zipper right here for like smaller stuff, maybe for like some loose money, some loose change, um, maybe like if you want to take off your earrings or some jewelry, some shades, or um, maybe like, I don't know, some lollipops? I don't know. Something small that would fit in here, you know, that would just wouldn't fit in here that would get lost. But you know, in here it's just a big zipper and it has a little button thing, you know, so that it nothing will get stolen or anything will fall out. So I've got my wallet in here, um, my old sunglasses, some gum wrappers, paper, um, random stuff that you can fit in here. So it's very compact and um, very handy because it's got lots of slots just for different, different items. Like in here it's just big random stuff. And I have a small compartment for like smaller, more delicate stuff. Hey, baby! My little doggy. Okay. Let's see if I'm going to play with 
And then it has a little phone pocket, so it's very a nice purse, and I think it's going to be worth $20. So, uh, then I got some new shades. I got, um, Mirror Aviators. And I was having trouble with the aviators because my eyelashes are actually naturally so long that when I put on sunglasses, they hit the lenses. So I'm still trying to work out, like, how I'm going to angle them, um, how I'm going to wear them without my eyelashes hitting it and irritating me. So the next thing I got was actually a deal. This is supposed to be $4. Um, and it's black leather, and it has brown and silver beads right here, which is really, like, in the piece, hippie style. And then it has a little brown piece sign with some white box. And this was $4. And then I got a bracelet. My dog. Uh, and it's black leather, and it has, like, peace signs and love and, um, earth, like, save the earth, love. Just all that hippie style stuff that's really cool that I'm in love with. I thought I was bleeding. I think I am. I don't know. But, um, and this is $3, so this is supposed to be $7, but the lady was really nice. She's been doing deals, so she just gave us all to me for $5 because that's all I had left. So, it was really cool. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all, that's all I got from the festival. And then, um, on Saturday, we went to the mall, and I, we were going to go to Mass, but there were so many people, and all the workers, well, sorry. We're like helping so many customers and there's so many people in there. I just didn't want to get bundles up and all mixed up. So we went to Sephora. Actually, I was shocked that they had Sephora. Um, so yeah, we went to Sephora. And the lady was talking to me in to get the Sephora eyeshadow because I was looking at the Make It Forever eyeshadow. So she's saying, um, you know, Sephora, the Sephora brand has um, really nice eyeshadow. Hey, Poppy. My other dog. Um, this right here. Uh, she said that Sephora eyeshadows are just as good quality, but they're for cheaper prices. So I was like, okay, I'll check them out. And they had tested, so I was testing them. And all the eyeshadows I wanted, the presentation sucked. Like, it was terrible. So, um, the purple really stand out on my eyes, so I was thinking about getting that, but the closest thing I got to purple was blue. And blue's are really pretty as well, even though they don't pop, make my eyes pop as much. I really like blue. So I got an eyeshadow, and... Let me just tell you, if you want a Sephora eyeshadow, like, if you were thinking about buying Sephora eyeshadows and you wanted to try them out, I suggest you go to the store, like, go to Sephora, like, in a mall, to check them out and test the eyeshadows, because some of the eyeshadows will be presented and some of them won't be. So, I'm just telling you to be careful if you're ordering online, like, the eyeshadows and stuff, so, you be careful. But I just really suggest you go into the store and test the eyeshadows before you actually buy one. So I got one in baby blue. And this was a decent, this is a decent pigmented eyeshadow. And this is $12. Now, the pigmentation for this eyeshadow and just like it in general, I don't think it was really worth $12. Maybe like $9 or $8 sounds a little more reasonable. Because the quality isn't as well, but, um, it, and it doesn't even last too long. Like, I put primer on it, and then, I made primer on my hand, and then I put the eyeshadow over it to protect it, and it lasted, like, two hours, two, three hours, I guess, I mean, at the most. So, not a great deal. And then I, the final thing I got was an Urban Decay eyeliner, and one, I've been wanting an Urban Decay eyeliner forever, ever since I started watching videos on Urban Decay. Like, people started bringing up Urban Decay eyeliners. I was just like, oh, I should check those out. But I never got around to. So I found my gone one, and I've also been wanting a brown eyeliner forever. So, Ur I wanted an Urban Decay eyeliner, and I wanted a brown eyeliner. So why not just get both? I got an Urban Decay brown eyeliner. Whoa. So I got Bourbon, which is a really pretty color. And a pretty color. And let me just tell you, these colors are, I mean, the pigment on these are amazing. And the lasting power, oh my god, it's amazing. It will last forever. It'll be really hard to get off because they're waterproof as well. So, and they won't budge on your waterline or even on your lash line or everywhere you put it. It won't budge as much. Because that's what happened to me. I wore it like all day and it never moved. So it's right there. It has a subtle sparkle, which I like about it. These are $17, I believe. So they're a little expensive, but they're really worth it. I mean, they're not too expensive, but they're really worth it. So yeah, that was the end of the haul, I guess. It's not much. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.